Water, with all its beauty, has an interesting adventure as it flows through the environment. As it moves in swiftly flowing rivers, or slowly in lakes and through the soil, water picks up minerals and salts. These salts and minerals are naturally occurring, and they have a variety of uses when they are in solid form. But water, because of its polar molecular structure, can dissolve salt. When this happens, salt is broken up into individual ions. The positively charged ions, like sodium, are called cations. And the negatively charged ions, like chloride, are called anions. When salt is dissolved in water, these ions move freely through the water as individual atoms. Sometimes the concentration of salts and minerals can be too high for drinking water, industrial use, or irrigation purposes. The process of removing salt from water is called desalination. Ions such as salt have the ability to move in water if direct current electricity is applied to the water. The negatively charged chloride ion moves to the positively charged anode under the influence of electricity. And the positively charged sodium ion moves toward the negatively charged cathode. Electrodialysis is an advanced membrane technology that utilizes this ion movement to desalinate water. With electrodialysis, the ions move through special membranes and create two separate streams, a desalinated stream and a concentrated salt stream. In addition to using electricity to move and separate salts from water, electrodialysis also uses electricity to clean the electrodialysis cell. In normal use, salts and fine organic material may tend to accumulate on the membrane surface. But, by reversing the flow of the applied direct current, salts and organics are driven back into solution and cleaned off the membrane surface. When many membranes are combined, a full-scale membrane stack is created. And this membrane stack is usually one of many stacks that are used for a large-scale electrodialysis reversal plant. This is how electrodialysis reversal technology is used to transform previously unusable saline water into a new fresh water resource to create water for food, water for industry, and water for life.